it's just kind of hard to talk about. You know, like out of nowhere, my my body just got hot, like like kind of unexplainable, like a heat flash. I don't know what you would say. Like I just got super hot. Mind you, I'm by myself, so I don't know like what to do in this situation. Like literally, all I feel is like me smack something super hard, like bang, went on, and then like two seconds go by, and then bang, I hit the ground, like super hard like i hit the ground and the first thing i hear is oh my gosh he hit his head ambulance guy told me that if i would have been if i would have left to go get something to eat any few minutes later that i could have uh, i would have passed out in the car and uh, i could have crashed this terrible car accident i would have i would have passed out on the wheel uh, i don't wish this upon anybody What's up guys, I'm back with another video. And so, I know you guys are probably wondering where the basketball video is at, um, cause this one's a little different, but um, I just felt like I needed to hop on here and talk to you guys because um, there's not too many people um, I've been talking to since this happened. And um, if you guys see the title, then you guys see, yeah, I passed out. Uh, this was actually yesterday. So I have the bandaid on right here. I'll show you guys real quick. Uh, that that's, that's what it looks like. That's what it's looking like today. This knot, it was a knot right here, bam. And uh, right here on my eye, so. <sighs> so I'm about to basically just jump into this video uh, and let you guys know what happened and uh, keep you guys up to date with everything that happened yesterday. Before we get into this video, um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I can, I've been thinking all day about making this video and I just don't know. I, I don't know how it's gonna go, I don't know. Um, I just don't know. Well, I just, uh, nothing like this has ever happened to me, so I didn't know if I should jump on the internet and let you guys know, but after thinking about it all day, I think it's right to just keep you guys informed with all this stuff, so it's not like I'm just not posting. I'm about to try my hardest to um, talk about all this, because it's been kind of, emotions been like a roller coaster since last night, and um, later in the video, I will show you guys the place I was at actually sent me the um, video of me passing out and uh, I'll put that later. I'll show you guys later in the videos. Let me take you guys back to yesterday morning. How it happened was um, I woke up, I was I was up all night pretty much. I was up till like four in the morning and uh, I didn't sleep. I got about two hours of sleep. I woke up around seven, went to sleep at four. I woke up at seven, so that's like three hours. And then I went back to sleep and woke up at like 9, 30, 10. So I really didn't get any hours of sleep. And so then after that, I just literally, I just, um, I got up. I didn't eat breakfast. That was already the first uh, mistake. I didn't eat breakfast at all. Um, and then three hours go by. I think I went to go, I went, I went out to go do some stuff. I didn't eat lunch. So now it's around 12. I, I didn't eat lunch at all. And, uh. Um, and so now I'm just going about the day, mind you, I got, guys, I have, um, uh, my trainer told me to come in around like four o'clock, four thirty to train. Um, and I told him I would let him know. So now it's like three o'clock and I'm at home. So I got home around two o'clock. Um, I went out to do some stuff. Like I said, I didn't eat. I got home around two and then, um, I just laid down and was watching TV for like an hour and a half. And then um, I get a call from my trainer around like four, um, and he's just asking me where I'm at. And uh, I like I didn't I told y'all I was supposed to let him know. I didn't know if I really wanted to train yesterday, so that's why I didn't call him. But he told me they were playing, so I was like, why not? So I ended up going to training, and um, didn't I still I didn't eat anything and uh, barely drinking any water yesterday at all. Um, so from there I went to from the house I went to training didn't touch food um, we trained for about we, we played for about I want to say two hours two hours just going full speed hard um, so now it's like 630 and um, I still feel fine like um, nothing feels off nothing feels different and um, I'm just sitting on my phone for about 30 minutes mind you it's weird because the day, it, it, the day already feels weird. Like that whole day yesterday just fell off. Like you know when, when, um, like when God is trying to tell you something, or, or 
or something. Like, I don't know. It just, it was just one of those days where it was just like, you just knew something weird was happening. Listen to this. After training, I never sit, um, and sit on my phone for like more than like five, 10 minutes. I, I finish, take my stuff off, say, uh, say bye to everybody and leave in a matter of like five, 10 minutes. I'm sitting there for like 30 minutes. Like I dang there, I watched the next person's workout, the whole workout almost. That never happens. So that was already weird. Um, I didn't drink any water after that. Um, and I'm just sitting there on my phone and then I'm just watching. And uh, 30 minutes go by, I get up, I tell, uh, tell everybody bye, dap people up and then I leave. And now it's about like 7.15, 7.30. And I, um, I get home around, I wanna say, I get home around eight. And uh, now it's eight o'clock, still haven't eaten anything. First thing I do is go take a shower. Like, I don't know why I haven't eaten anything. Like, I just wasn't hungry. I, I haven't been hungry the whole day, I'm just chilling. Um, I had like maybe one water bottle. Like, I, that's, how much I, that's how much water I drank yesterday, it was one water bottle. And so my, uh, my mom got home later that uh, night. It's like 8.30, no, nah, I wanna say it's like almost nine now. And uh, mind you, I. I still haven't eaten anything. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna eat for dinner because I'm like, dang, I gotta eat something. So so the family wanted Chipotle. So my mom, my sister, my nephew, um, they all wanted wanted to get food at Chipotle. So I told them I would go get it. So I leave around nine o'clock and everything's fine. Like I get to Chipotle. Um, it's a kind of a long line. So I, I ended up staying in line for about 10 minutes. Yeah, so I'm in line for 10 minutes, um, pretty much. I'm just on my phone, leaned over the, uh, leaned over the, uh, the little divider where you, the walkway, the little divider. If you guys been to Chipotle, you guys know what I'm talking about, where you can lean on it while you're walking up. So I'm, I'm just leaning on that, moving up as I'm getting closer to the front. And so now I'm up next. And, uh, and it was just weird. Like, like I felt normal right until I got up to the front of the line. And so now I'm at the front um, and pretty much um, the lady asked me like, okay, what do you want? Like burrito or bowl? So I say a burrito and uh, everything is fine. But as soon as I say burrito, like out of nowhere, my, my body just got hot. Like, like kind of unexplainable, like a heat flash. I don't know what you would say. Like I just got super hot, like from my feet up to my whole head, like just, just feel like I'm just about to start sweating. So, and I have my mask on. So now I feel like I can't breathe. Cause I was so hot, I, I, like I couldn't breathe. My mask was, everything was hot. So I take my mask down and uh, I'm trying to like breathe. So I'm, I'm talking to her, telling her what I want. And she's like, so do you want like what rice, what beans and everything? And I'm, and I put my mask back on to talk. And I said like, oh, white rice. So I'm telling her what I want. And then I take my mask off again as she's getting this food because as she's making the food because it's like it's hot like I don't know what's going on so then she asked me another question what do I want and now her words are starting to get lower and lower and lower and it sounds like uh, I'm hearing voices like like weird voices in my head now I get super dizzy so now the room is like spinning like this is like crazy like it just out of nowhere just dizzy so now the room is spinning she's asking me questions I'm hot I can't breathe mind you I'm by myself so I don't know like what to do in this situation like this has never happened to me I've, I've never felt like this before like I'm scared like I don't know what to do so I'm like looking over looking around and uh, like I did I wanted to ask for help but I didn't cuz I didn't know what was going on like I thought I was just gonna like like, I'm just thugging it out. I'm just ordering. So I'm just going to order and be fine, go sit down after and wait a minute. So, mind you, I have to, look, I knew I wasn't going to make it through because I had four orders to place. I couldn't even get through the first one. Like, I'm, I'm about to, like, I don't know what's going on. So I'm super dizzy, and she's asking me questions. The questions are getting lower. And then, uh, then my fingers get numb. And uh, I'm like, oh, my gosh. So fingers are numb. And uh, she's like, okay, so what do you want on it now? And I'm, and then out of nowhere, like, I felt like I was in a dream. I don't even know. I'll put the video up in a minute after I explain it. But um, I feel like I was in a dream. So my eyes just like shut. And, uh, and then I just lose all consciousness. Like I, I black out um, and I like fall over. So I, uh, I fall over. By the way, mind you, I don't know I'm falling over. Like, my, I'm blacked out, my eyes are closed, and it feels like I'm in a dream. So, 
literally all I feel is like me smack something super hard, like bang, heck of hard. And then, um, and mind you, there was two hits. So that was the first initial one, bang, I fall, hit something. Or I leaned over and hit something. Um, and in that dream, I feel like I'm having, it felt like I knocked over everything. Like it felt like I knocked over people, um, shelves, like, like just say you had dominoes and you just like are falling over. Like that's what it felt like I did. I felt like I hit everybody in line and just knocked everyone over. Like I was in an action movie that, and I just got like swung across the room and I knocked everything over. That's how bad it was. And then, um, and then right after that, maybe two seconds go by, there was a pause and I'm just like lean, like, I don't even know uh, what's going on. And then like two seconds go by and then bang, I hit the ground like super hard like i hit the ground and uh and then i just wake up out of the dream like and um and then i just see everyone just standing over me and people are holding me and i'm like i don't know what's going on like whew, it's kind of hard to talk about it just makes me think like like i didn't know what was going on i wake up out of the, the dream i'm talking about i had and uh like i said there's people circling me and the first thing i hear is oh my gosh he hit his head the room is still spinning after i open my eyes so i don't i don't know what's going on i just look up and there's people all in my face and uh talking about they're calling 911 and uh then they're just like look at his head look at his head i'm like what what's wrong like what's wrong um and I don't feel like I'm bleeding or anything. Like, I feel fine. Like, I, I felt like I was back to normal. Um, and uh, here, I'll, um, I'll put the video up right now so you guys can see. So it's kind of hard to see at the end of the video, but there was a lady grabbing me, like holding holding my head, like like hugging my head because um, I had just hit my head. I landed directly on my head, and uh, and um, now the people right after that, the people had picked me up and uh, took me over to sit down on the little ch on the chairs inside, and uh, so now they they keep saying like, oh, look, we need napkins, we need napkins, and I'm like, what for what? Like, what do we need Atkins for? So I open up my I open up my phone and I go to the uh, selfie camera and I, I'm just trying to see what happened like what happened to my face. And I look and as you guys can see, I'll show you guys again. But all you see is red cuts right here and then um, um, this right here. This was all red too. This was like bleeding, but this and then um, this this knot, there was a knot right here. This is where I initially hit my head on that dark spot right there. So that's that's what happened right there. And uh, all that happened just off that one fall. I didn't know what I hit. I thought I hit the glass counter and then hit the ground. Cause that's all, like I said, it felt like I got swung across the room on the first hit. So I didn't know um, what I hit and um, now I'm, I feel like I'm just like in shock, paranoid right now after I'm like putting the napkin on my face in the ice and uh, everything just feels off like weird and uh, I, I'm looking around and there's there's a bunch of people in there just staring. I've never had this, nothing like this happen to me in my life so I don't even know what's going on. Um, they're saying the, 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 the uh, ambulance is on their way. Now I'm just sitting there and I'm just wiping my face off. And then uh, they asked me what I want. They, they ended up giving me free food so I can eat something and drink something. I told them like I didn't eat. And uh, so I got, they brought me food. And then um, a few minutes later, like this is crazy. Like, like it's one of those, like you'll, you'll never think you'll need to, I don't even know how to explain it. Like seeing the ambulance come pick people up, like you always see that every day. Like you see an ambulance driving to pick someone up and you, you're just like, oh, okay, that's, that's just another day. Like someone needs help. Like, but when it's actually coming for you, like you see the, the paramedics coming in, the ambulance, the fire truck, like everything coming up to you. Like, it's like, like you're in a movie. Like it's not even real. Like me, like out of, out of everyone in the world, I passed out and hit my head, like hit directly on my head. Like I could have died. Like stuff like they were telling me like if you hit your head if I would have hit somewhere like temple bam or 
um, like on the side or if I if I didn't initially fall stumble back first and then lean over and fall like if I would have I'm I'm like six four if I fall that's a long drop so if I would have fell standing straight up just like like bam I could have I could have like went in a coma I could say anything anything could have happened you never know and um, I'll put some more pictures up to show you guys uh, what my face looked like last night um, so I'll put some up all around you guys will be able to see it there's a uh, update of my face god damn it looked like I got in a whole ass fight but yeah Shit bad. The paramedics get there and uh, they basically come up to me and they're just asking me what happened, um, for ID, all the regular stuff, and I, I give them everything. And uh, they take my blood, they like shoot my finger with this thing, get my uh, blood drawn, and then they uh, ran my little oxygen test and they uh, with the little thing around your arm, the compression thing, and uh, literally feels like I'm in a movie. Like this isn't even real. Like I'm still dreaming. Like. I, I don't know. So they told me like everything was fine, normal blood pressure. Um, mind you now, I don't know if I have a concussion. Like, I don't know if I have a concussion or not. At the time, I hope I didn't have one. Like, I was like, please don't have a concussion. Please don't. Like, I feel fine. Look, I didn't even tell my parents. I didn't tell my mom. I didn't tell my dad. Um, I, I didn't tell them at all. So, um, like, uh, I just didn't want to in the moment because it was one of those, like, I didn't want my mom to panic, freak out, and, uh, and come up there and just, and have all that, like, all the extra stuff happen. And they asked me if I wanted to get uh, taken away in an ambulance. And they, and I told them, I told them no. Like, um, like I feel fine. I don't want to go ride in the ambulance. Like, I just didn't think I needed all that. Um, especially, like I said, I felt, I felt normal 100%. I just had the cuts on my face and uh, I mean they, they said it's up to me so I told them no. I had to like sign a, a waiver or something saying like I canceled the ambulance um, and so now it's like 10 o'clock so it's been an hour since I left um, and uh, I checked my phone and my mom and my sister are blowing me up. Like now I'm panicking I don't know what to do like, uh, like I, it was one of those I didn't want to tell, tell them what happened but I had to because of my face um, so now I'm just like, I'm just texting them back like, I'll be there in 20 minutes, I'll be there in 10 minutes. Like I kept, I, the time just kept getting longer and longer and longer because they didn't let me leave Chipotle because um, they wanted to make sure I was still like fine, like I wasn't gonna like pass out again. And uh, the uh, the ambulance guy told me that, um, this, is probably, this is crazy, like, ambulance guy told me that if I would have been if I would have left to go get something to eat any few minutes later that I could have uh, I would have passed out in the car and uh, I could have crashed terrible car accident I would have I would have passed out on the wheel and uh, I could have switched off and turned into another lane and went head to head with the car could have crashed into a tree or I could have hit somebody and uh, that would have been considered a DUI and I could have went to jail or something for that, like the way he explained it. They, they said it still counts as like reckless driving or something, not a DUI, but yeah, reckless driving. So they said I could have got like charged for that. And uh, even though it's not, it wouldn't have been my fault. Like I passed out, I have no control over that. I just thank God that I wasn't, um, that I was that I didn't leave any later because I don't even want to think about all that stuff. But that's just crazy that he said that I could like I could that I could have passed out in the car. Like like it was a blessing. I'm not saying it was good to pass out, but it was a blessing to pass out at the at the place rather than in the car because I uh, car accidents are are bad and they happen all the time and. Um, a lot of people get in car accidents and you don't know what happens. I could have injured something. I could have broke. I could have broke my. I could have broke something. I could have died. Like anything could happen. So I just pray to God. I prayed all last night, um, just thanking Him for keeping me safe. And uh, I don't wish this upon anybody. Like, um, like I learned from yesterday that you need to always hydrate um, and eat something like every couple of hours. Like even if you don't feel hungry, 
don't go the whole day without eating like I did. Um, let me be the example. Um, but but yeah, so don't don't go the whole day without eating. If, like like I said, like like from now on, I'm keeping like protein bars in my car. So like if I'm not really hungry, I I can kind of just force myself to eat the protein bars because they're small and they still give you energy. So I'm gonna start doing that. I'm gonna start drinking a lot more bottles of water. Um, and just and just keeping myself healthy because like I said this was not like this is something you never want to experience like you seen I hit my head right there I could have like it, it just could have been all bad my head so so today I'll tell you guys a little bit what happened today so basically today I uh talked to the doctor um and uh they just walked me through all like I just had to rewalk them through what happened. So I told them the story of what happened, and uh, they said everything felt, everything I told them was was um, sounded fine. Like I didn't sound like I need to come in, like I needed to come into the um, hospital and go in for further examination. They said my um, my um, like I said my blood pressure was normal yesterday, so they said that's good, and uh, and I don't have a concussion because they said if I would have like fell on the ground and if I was out for like one to two minutes on the ground, then they uh, said that that would have been considered a concussion. And then they asked me if I um, had like any heart problems in the past, which I didn't, which I've never have. So um, they said that's fine because if I did, then that could have been like cardiovascular problems or something like, I forgot the term they used, but then they would have been more concerned and I would have had to come in for more tests. But um, thank God, and I'm lucky I didn't have to. So I'm just like happy for that. And uh, yeah, so no concussion, I'm, I'm all good. Uh, my head just, my uh, the bump right here at the top just hurts when I touch it because it's a, it's a bruise. You guys see it's like purple. And uh, I just have the cuts on my face. So other than that, I'm, I'm, I'm fine and I'm blessed. And um, it was kind of hard, like I said, to make this video because I, I had to remake this video, like the intro part, maybe like three times, three, four times, just because I didn't know what to say. Like, like nothing like this has ever happened to me. And watching that video is just like, like traumatic. Like, like I didn't even want to, I was scared to watch the video. I was scared to upload this. I'm, I'm scared to upload this right now. Like, I don't know. Um what people are gonna think like what people would say um especially seeing myself it, it's crazy seeing myself like stable now watching that video because it's like like dang like i really had no control over my body when that happened like it's, it's a weird experience like you don't want to go through that like like that could have been that could have happened anywhere like I, and i landed right on cement like not on carpet like like right on the cement like head first and just watching that video um was just like was sick like emotions were high watching that earlier today when i got it that's why i didn't know if i was gonna like put it in the video or even post this video but i'm gonna do it um because i just like i said in the beginning i just want to let you guys know i want to keep you guys up to date so it's not like i'm just i just I just come back in the next video and i have a cut on my eye or this bruise on my face because I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to be uh, doing some videos I'm supposed to be dropping some banger videos for you guys in the next couple days so I didn't just want to have all this on my face you guys like what happened in the comments so I'm just letting you guys know now that's pretty much it stay hydrated eat uh, I'm gonna try to stay positive through this because uh, I, I've talked to my um, couple people already about it so um, I, I, for 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 a while I talked to talked to some friends and uh, they're gonna um, he just told me to stay positive, stay motivated, and uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna stay strong for you guys and for my family, and uh, just hope nothing like this ever happens to me or any of you guys watching this or anyone around the world. Uh, Y'all stay tuned for um, for the next few videos I'm dropping. I'm, if you guys remember, I might be 1v1 in my, uh, my best friend again. Um, you guys saw that when it was the crazy trash talk video I posted like two months ago, so we... We want to run it back now, so we might do that. And I have some 1v1s coming up uh, in the next few days with some um, people that you guys are going to be uh, excited to see. So so stay tuned for that. But, um, yeah, I'm signing out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. But uh, I'm about to rest up, get some water, and uh, go eat some food. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys next video. I'm out.